What's poppin' y'all? I'm here to talk about the really cool buffs and changes for both Swat Loon and Lee Vandy that I've made. But before I get into my uh, explaining my thought process behind things, the abilities, and most importantly all the new cool move changes, I want to have a quick disclaimer for our new viewers to pause the video <clears throat> and check out the description. Excuse me. Uh, I've got a bullet point list explaining all of the basic context behind the ROM hack, and then when you're done with this video, you can check out the Google Sheet link down below. Uh, I've got all the uh, moves in the game organized in, in great detail. Uh, I would recommend if you're new here and you haven't done this to just scroll through it in order. I think that's the easiest way to understand things. So make sure you do that as well. You can also check out all my, all my other videos. <clears throat> and lastly, sorry, I know my throat's kind of nasty right now, but um, yeah, last thing I'll need you to do for me is drop a like, comment, sub if you haven't already, and you know, share my stuff, help support my work. Uh, Livani. So Livani is pretty dope. Um, I've given them three awesome new abilities. Well, technically chlorophyll is an old ability, but it, you know, synergizes with a bunch of new moves and stuff as well. So um, but yeah, Grassy Surge and Sarbonus are really cool. So Grassy Surge has the obvious benefit of Grassy Glide, and also just of healing you and of having like high base power bug move. Uh, sorry, grass moves to take advantage of like Leaf Storm and Frenzy Plant and Seed Flare and other stuff, um, which out damages Sharpness boosted moves. But Sharpness has the benefit of boosting bug moves as well as boosting coverage moves, uh, and it still boosts Leaf Blade right and also Solar Blade technically. But yeah, um, I'll explain more how those work in a bit, but I also want to talk a little bit about Swad Loon and Sawaddle, because those are also really cool. Uh, Swad Loon specifically, you could actually keep uh, past 35 if you wanted to. I don't know if I would, but if you like, I know a lot of people prefer Swad Loon's design, a lot of people resonate with it. Um, and obviously, like, a Violite Technician, you know, Siphon, Struggle Bug, Mega Drain, all those, like, healing, this thing is really stally, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, they've also got really cool Protect variants uh, in Silk Trap, which is really good in conjunction with Harvest and Leech Seed. Um, so that's why Harvest is so is so good on these guys, is because it's like... Hold on, I gotta fix this format. 23 or something. Okay. Um, because, you know, when you have the free turn, you can kind of sit there and stall and, and farm for Harvest turns. Uh, Flavor-wise, Harvest makes sense with the whole, like... Uh, like they make tools and, and, and clothing out of silk, right? So I think Harvest makes sense in that regard. Technician, same thing. They're good with their hands, even if they don't technically have hands. Lee Vandy specifically is the one who fits Technician uh, in Sweltering Sun. They had Technician, but I think Sharpness is cooler and I wouldn't say objectively better, but better in a lot of ways. Um, and because, of course, Lee Vandy also has the whole Mantis, like Leaf Blade thing going on. Um, you know, uses his cutters on its arm and stuff, although it's not actually like known to be that sharp leaves or whatever like none of the decks and allude to it i still think sharpness makes sense obviously um <clears throat> and yeah technician is really cool because so you have moves like uh, siphon and mega drain which heal you by a bunch uh both heal you by 100 100 or 75 percent hp mega drain becomes 90 power of technician siphon becomes uh 67.5 which again heals you by 100 percent damage and you've also got leech life which is super super fucking strong on these guys uh 90 power of a technician heals you just by, by so, so much. So those are all really awesome stall things you can do with Swadloon with Technician. You also got your boosted priority moves in Leap Flurry, Seed Shot, and Creeping Strike, and some coverage like Aerial Ace, and actually no, only Leap Any gets Aerial Ace, excuse me. Um, Electro Web, that's, you know, Electric 60, the 90 power with Technician. You got Draining Kiss, you know, Thief, other cool tech, uh, Knock Off, other cool Technician options, and also like Bug Biting is super, super strong. Bug Biting uh, is a two hit move, so it becomes 105 power overall with Technician, very, very strong. Uh, and yeah, just Harvest in general, super, super good with Silk Trap and Leech Seed. You can just literally sit on things forever. So a lot of people think Bug Grass is a bad defensive typing. And in competitive, I guess, sort of. Um, although I think if Stealth Rocks didn't exist and there was like an actual good Bug Grass. Like, I feel like all the Bug Grass, their problem isn't the typing. The problem is just the Pokemon themselves and the stats and the moves. Um, because as a typing, as you can see, if you look on screen, this guy has hella resistances, man. Like, four times to ground, four times to grass, and water, and electric, and fighting resists. Like, that's fucking dope. I mean, yes, weaknesses, oh my god, so horrible. But, like, in an in-game context, it's so easy to play around your weaknesses. And your resistances are just so much more valuable, I would say, than with weaknesses. Um, and, of course, you do have tools to hit the things that are super effective on you anyways. You know, you have Cycle Cut for Poison, and, and fucking Earth Power, and... You know, tons of coverage to hit ice as well, and with like fighting moves, and then you know, fire. You've got earth power, and blah 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 blah. So you got you got coverage if you need it to hit them for some reason. But you can also just swap the hell out or whatever, right? Not to mention you also have Terra, which is another thing. Um, <clears throat> Terra is supposed to be randomized, and at some point in the game, I might have to end up uh, banning it or limiting it more. But for now, it's just supposed to be randomized. Um, which Terra type you get? But yeah. Um, other cool sharpness moves. So you have all these 50% crit options, which become 120 base power with sharpness. Um, 
Oh, also lastly, I guess in regards to Swaddle and then Swaddle. Um, so Harvest is great, right? Key Berry, Moringa Berry, Citrus so Berry, Harvest. That's all like the best ways to abuse it. Uh, Technician is great offensively and just for stalling with Mega Drain, Siphon type stuff, Leech Life. And then Grassy Guard is great for Grassy Terrain, Manual Grassy Terrain with Leech Seed and Silk Trap and all this other stally crap. You become incredibly tanky defensively, especially with the Violet. You can 1v1 all types of physical attackers easily with Grassy Guard up. So that's a really fun ability, especially for the early game. Um, and you also have Strength Sap, which is great for Swadloon. Um, and solid for Levani too, but especially for Swadloon. So yeah. Um, uh, what else is there? That's it. Oh, another th cool thing, little detail here. Uh, Harvest Sun based. You know, it double. It's guaranteed in Sun, right? That turns into Solar Rush. Grassy Guard turns into Grassy Surge, and then Technician turns into Sharpness. I love that flavor, like of all the abilities turning into each other. Um, but yeah, mechanically they're all really fun. I mean, Swadloon or Levani, whichever one you prefer to prefer more, you can keep. Um, and the Venny is obviously very strong, you know, Sharpness, Boosted, Leaf Blade, Exes, or Shadow Claw, Laceration, Psycho Cut, First Impression, uh, Cross Poison, Night Slash, Slash, all this good shit. Um, dual Stabs become 120, you have all those coverage. You also have, again, that Stab, First Impression, and that Stab, Creeping Strike, which are both Sharpness Boosted as well. Um, and another cool, so the thing is with Solar Rush, you're already fast, right? You're going to be using Choice Scarf, so Sharpness a lot, you're going to be using Grassy Glide, Grassy Surge a lot, stuff like that, you know? Um, so very occasionally will you be actually abusing Solar Rush unless you have a Drought Mon on your team, in which case it's easier to, you know, takes less steps to use. But Manual Sunny Day Wise, a bit niche, not useless, because they still do have Growth, they still do have um, Solar Blade and Solar Beam, so they definitely have, like, good ways to abuse Sun. Also, Chloroblast in the Sun is really strong, uh, because, for example, you can't do Scarf, Chloroblast, right? I mean, it's 1 PP. Uh, so Chloroblast is reworked to give you plus 1 special attack now, um, and it's 1 PP, so essentially what you can do is get the sign up, click Chloroblast, blow something up, get plus 1 special attack. The HP having doesn't matter because you're outspeeding everything, and then you can go from there, you know, with your strong uh, stab moves, bug bomber, earth power, coverage, you know, grass stabs and stuff, so that's all really fun to take advantage of with Solar Rush. I would say that's the best way to abuse Solar Rush is, is Chloroblast stuff or growth, I guess, but yeah. Um, and also just once in a while, you know, maybe some Mother Ball shenanigans. Um, and if you had a Drop Mine, it would be easier to, to abuse for sure. And then Solar Beam and Solar Blade are also very, very strong, 135 power overall. Um, so those are really strong too. Um, so another thing with Sharpness is that you can slap on a Scope Lens to get a 180 base power move with Leaf Blade and X-Scissor and all the other 50% crit moves like Shadow Claw and Laceration and stuff. Um, and that's good, but it's it's only good versus something that is you're faster than, right? So 112 speed seems very quick on paper, but you're not actually as fast as you might think you are because you're not guaranteed a plus speed nature, so you're only actually going to be hitting roughly base 93 equivalent? 92. Yeah, you're only outspeeding base 92 and below um, with your leave any guaranteed. Unless you get a plus speed nature, then you're hitting a little bit higher of a speed tier. Um, but what that means is anything with 97 or below you gotta run a 97 or higher you have to run you know scarf or grassy glide or you know first impression or you know, any of your priority options are speed control options of, of which leave any has several uh several several options but yeah um if you are kill, trying to one shot something that's like slower and bulkier you can slap on scope lens and get that 180 power leaf blade x is it with sharpness um and other other coverage moves and whatnot um i didn't get them sacred slash did i uh, I kind of don't want to give it to him. I, don't know. I mean, I give it to Lorantis, but I feel like Lorantis has a connection to like totems, so you can like argue it fits. But with the Manny, it's like, eh, you know? I don't know. I'll ask you, I guess, real quick. Uh, but yeah, sorry guys, give me two seconds. Yeah, I don't know, regardless if they have the fighting coverage or not, it's not a big deal. They still have takedown and focus wise and brick break and all that sort of stuff at low kick. And Backing wave, all this other crap. Um, <clears throat> so, another really cool thing with Grassy Surge is you get the like Leaf Storm Frenzy Plant nukes, um, both of which are, I mean, Frenzy Plant is physical Leaf Storm, so those are both really strong with Grassy Surge on top of Grassy Glide, and you also have Seed Flare earlier on, which is a recoil move now. Uh, Radiant Edge is really cool with Sharpness, that is a special Sharpness move. It's like it's like a low variant, so you click it, and you can't use it twice in a row, but it also hits on the special side because it comes from Secret Sword. So it's really cool. Um, fairy move, really strong, like 180 power with sharpness, right? So that's really cool. It also uh, encourages the use of their lower special attacks. That same with getting seed flare early, chloroblast early, leaf storm early, bug bomber early. All the strong moves of the special side uh, they learn earlier to encourage their lower special attack. It's not even that much lower. It's only 13 points lower. And with movie learner, that's like not a big deal at all because you're always going to be switching between your moves anyway. Um, 
that's the beauty of Mover Lantern, is you can just kind of tack on whatever coverage or utility move you need for that fight. And leave any still can do utility. Obviously, like, sticky webs is still great, um, especially with this thing's speed tier, right? You get a web up uh, versus the AI. They have no hazard control or anything. So if all the Pokemon are grounded, you can now outspeed things and start going crazy with kills. If, even if, like, Sash... I don't know. It might be a bit difficult to get off the webs, but when you get it off, you can position to get some kills as well with your own webs, or of course use it with your teammates. Um, finishing Blow was very strong. Finishing Blow gives you plus three. Oh, I forgot to make that sharpness boosted, because uh, it is it is sharpness boosted. Um, finishing Blow is very strong. Um, so with sharpness, it's even stronger, but uh, yeah, it's really cool because I would say especially with the best way to use Finishing Blow is with Solar Rush because you're so fast. Um, or technically, like a sharpness scarf Finishing Blow could be good for certain boss fights because plus three attack, sharpness boosted, whatever. This is Felstinger, if that's not obvious, by the way. It's Felstinger, so you get plus three attack. It also always crits, so that's cool, but it, it always crit doesn't really matter much for the player. It's In this case, at least, with, with, with your abilities. But sharpness is cool. Um, with finishing blow or with solar rushes, which I would say again is probably the best way because you outspeed everything in the sun and you just pick something off, something that's low HP, right? You, you weaken it, sunny day, switch in your leave any, click finishing blow, get plus three, now you outspeed and kill everything, and you know, for as long as the sun is out at least. Assuming there's no quick claw, um, you do have a bullet seed and fury swipes to break through focus sashes, which is pretty good. Um, you also have triple axle technically, but that requires a wide lens. Um, and the other two require loaded dice, but regardless, in exchange for your item slot, you can get multi-hit moves with like a finishing blow solar rush set and breakthrough focus session sturdy. And really the only thing stopping you at that point is a uh, quick claw, which actually I just realized they have soak trap. So boom, you can actually pretty easily. Oh, soak trap in general, by the way, outside of being a solly like harvest type of thing is also really fucking good with um, just for the Vanny, right? You bait a physical move, click soak trap, boom, right? You, you kind of just go crazy from there. You outspeed them. You can kill them in one hit, potentially. Uh, it obviously depends on the Pokemon, but yeah, Silk Trap is an awesome offensive tool on the Vanny, and also, like I covered, incredible with sweeping. Honestly, a bit broken, because you could actually easily sweep through teams with the Vanny. In theory, especially late game with that finishing blow, plus the multi-hit moves, plus the Silk Trap for Quick Claw, you, you kind of, you know, are unstoppable almost. Um, only thing stopping you at that point is priority, and even then you have your own priority technically, but yeah. Um... I guess if you're running like sharpness, then you can go for like creeping strike, um, with with the plus three from the finishing blow. I'm getting really, I'm getting, I'm getting too theory crafting, like hypothetical here. I, I think I've covered all the basics more than enough in this video. So, shout out to you if you did make it to the end. I really do appreciate it if you do. Um, oh, last thing I, ugh, I should have said this earlier, string shot, great stally tool for early game. Um, it drops attack, special attack, and speed by minus one. It's still minus one. It's not minus two, right? I didn't change it. Yeah, so speed is by minus two, and then offensive stats are by minus one, so that's a great, like, you know, stally tool on Sawado and Swadloon. Um, very, very fun. So yeah, shout out to you if you made it to the end, y'all. Drop a comment if you did, and I will be back for more coming up. Peace.